day of the filming is May 4th. So you all know what that means. It means may the 4th be with you. Would you like to hold my lightsaber? Never. That's what she said. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Darth Vader. Okay. It's got some weight on it. You want, you want to feel that? No. You really don't? I don't want to feel the weight on your lightsaber. Oh, Thank too you. bad. Uh, may the 4th be with all may of you. May the 4th be with you. And uh, thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. If you want to see more about that lightsaber, I posted a reel May the 4th on when Ashley, Alexis, Micah, and Harrell surprised me when we went to Star Wars Land. They took me for the first time. Mm. And uh, they, they paid for me to go in and have the full Monty of lightsaber creation experience, which was pretty dang. I felt nine years old. I got emotional. I'm not going to lie. Because they do a really good job. They're playing music in there, and you feel like you're in. It's just, it's pretty dang awesome. Anyway. Today we're doing a movie review, and it's just like Star Wars. Exactly. <laughs> it's so similar that I was gobsmacked. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today we are doing a movie review of the 19, I believe, 94? Yes. Uh, the 94? 94. 1994, All right. uh, at least on IMDb. Yeah. Uh, Hindi film Bandit Queen. Yes. Uh, directed by. Not to be confused with Dancing Queen by ABBA. Similar films, though. Very, very comparable. Yeah. As is the score. Directed Reminded by. Reminded me of ABBA. <laughs> say that name. Directed by Shakir Kapoor. And uh, writers were. Ranjit Kapoor from the book India's Bandit Queen, Malasen. And it was starring. Uh, Sima Biswas. Biswas. We've seen her a few times. We have. Um, nothing this early. Uh, no, this was definitely her earliest, and, and apparently this was her breakthrough. Yeah, and then obviously there's film. a couple other people as well, but uh, we'll get into Rajesh. all Rajesh. Yeah. I love him. Um, but we'll get into and all of, course, of that. And of course, Yes, our, 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 our dosty dosty. of dosts. But it'll be 100% spoiler review. Obviously, it uh, came out in 1994, uh, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it and come back. It's the... Uh, the True storytelling of the bandit queen. Say, uh, Pul- yeah, uh, her name was Pulan Devi. Pulan Devi, yeah. who was sent to prison in 1983 and got free in 19. 19- That's a very yeah general very, synopsis. There. Very general synopsis. <laughs> um, this is a. Uh, uh, if you've seen it, you know it's a it's one of those hard watches, and that's what I've always been yes. told about this film. Yes. is that it's 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 a hard watch, uh, but a good watch. But what did you think of this film, Rick? Boy, do I have mixed feelings. Um, because, and we'll we'll get into it as a as a film, mm-hmm. as a uh, a piece of art. When you look at the technical a- aspects of it, when you look at the acting, um, I loved it. Mm-hmm. There is so much to applaud, um, even with some of the failures. I'm always way more forgiving. Of, like of, 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 yeah, 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 I'm way more forgiving of a film that's attempting elevative artistry that makes that has mistakes, whether it's uh, continuity or mm-hmm. budgetary stuff. That's that's forgivable when someone is doing their utmost to create elevative artistry, which this film is not only an attempt to do that, but I think it is elevative artistry. The problem I have is what I know the titular character, our main subject, what she felt about the film. It's very hard for me to give this a full stamp of approval knowing the woman it's about. She, so, she so passionately disliked it and didn't want it released that she threatened to set herself on fire at a showing if they did it. Why? What, what reason? She, she said it completely misrepresented her life and legacy. Interesting. Yeah. So in well, that regard, I, I can't, I can't, it, it, it reminded me of, um, in, in some respects, very differently the way I felt about uh, 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 Omerta, which I rem- just kicked myself because I had wanted to ask that question to Rajkumar and had forgotten to. 
I wanted to know what he felt about the depiction of, of Daniel Pearl's life in that film, because that was my takeaway problem. I felt the film itself was really, really great, and the mm. performances were great, mm. but I had a problem with history not being told correctly okay. in the life of Daniel Pearl. So that's my only problem with this, is the fact that the woman it's about did not want this film released. That's true, but uh, the only way we can judge this film is by off of what we what we saw. Obviously, she can say her piece. It's her life. And yeah. So, I, mean, I mean, I don't know what elements of it she's talking about either. So that's not something I can really, I understand. And like, and, and that's something um, you guys, if you guys know any more in depth about why she felt this way about this film. Yeah. Because I, obviously, in terms of just the film, I love the film. I thought the film was a, a really... Um, Nothing but uh, yeah, it's, good to say, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, like I said, I'm only so going to... We're going to set I'm, that aside. Yeah, only going to judge this film off of what I saw. And if you guys know anything about you know what she's talking about, please educate us uh, down below. Um, yeah. Because I would love to know more of why um, she felt that way. Um, maybe they, they did certain things that did not happen at all. Obviously, I would love to know that, obviously. I don't know any of it. This is yeah. like the first... This is not the first time we've seen her in a film. I think we saw her basically in both bandit things. I felt like she was in the. I felt like there was like a. Who was? Um, yeah, that her yeah. character that she, Pooja. Uh, oh yeah, Gabby. the character, the I bandit queen. I felt like there was like a depiction of her in the Sushant one. There was, and then uh, in the earphone. The earphone one, one, I believe. I believe you are correct. Uh, I know for sure she was the the Sushant one. Yeah, yeah. So we've seen her type of that but they character. they did not go in depth of. No. Oh man, her tragic 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 life uh, yeah <laughs> um this is hey, let's start just start with her she did a s superlative job the the actress um just um S sima sima, yeah. sima biswas um and there's so many elements of her performance you can talk about um it was just <laughs> like the first 30 minutes was just like oh man yeah Oh shit! Yeah, and it it continued, but there was a little gaps in in like of happiness, and and then just right back smack in your face of fucking brutal. This movie would be uh, controversial and talked about and hashtag boycott by today's standards. Nineteen ninety four, man. Yeah, India. Yeah, what they were making in nineteen ninety four in India. This was beyond. Even the independent industry that was trying to blossom at the time, too. This was just... And to India's credit, it was the film they submitted to the Oscars to try to get in for what foreign one? film. It, they, they but they submitted it. They submitted it as okay. their film that year. at the I believe it was the 65th. Oscars. It definitely deserved uh, to be sent. Yeah, for it sure. deserved to be uh, sent. I don't know what else was obviously taken, but they definitely deserved it. So I'm glad they they did that. But yeah, her performance was so raw and so real and courageous and courageous. I mean, I mean, I there mean, was the one scene where they literally in an Indian film stripped her naked. Yeah, and she in front of it felt like hundreds of people. It was the walk of shame yeah. from games, but the actress did the nudity. And once again, though, in India. In yeah. an Indian film yeah. in front of Indians yeah. in 1994. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd, like, I'm surprised it was even a lot. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously, this thing had a micro budget, right? And right. it probably wasn't released. <laughs> it's extraordinary because I, I did read that it obviously, the censor board was trying to stop it. But how that went from the censor board trying to stop it and, and, her ultimately and it's interesting because you also have to add I read the story about the actual woman Phulan Devi um, she was paid and then didn't protest it anymore they they paid her I believe 40,000 pounds okay um, for the use of her in the in the film and then she stopped talking about the film as being negative but it it really is mind-boggling and extraordinary that this is the film that not only got a release, but that this is the film India selected to be submitted. Which is great because it, it's it's wonderful. It absolutely deserved it. She yeah. did such a, an amazing job. Amazing job. Um, Full commitment to this role. Yeah. Full commitment In to this so role. Many, and, and also the younger versions of her as well. Oh, yes, my God. The kids. So difficult to watch. 
so incredibly difficult. And it was done. It was done tastefully, which yeah. was good. Thanks. It was done very tastefully. Um, which because that's it's hard, especially to depict a child rape. Uh, multiple, multiple times. rape in and of itself yeah, is hard. It's hard to depict. let alone child, pedophile rape. You can't. It's... You can't allow a kid to really go through that in a film. No, like no, 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 no. That it, it's, you can't no, do that. No. And so they did it very tastefully, by, by but also depicting what what was what was happening, right? Yeah. Um, and the, the little girl did an amazing job, she did a really particularly job. in that scene when mm -hmm. he's saying, "You're my wife now. I get to do this to you." Ooh. Um <sighs> But that scene where um, there's a couple scenes I want to talk about. Obviously, the the one where she went out naked. Yeah, great. which is just um, completely raw, completely real, and completely and not stupid. gratuitous at, at all. It is my understanding that that did happen to her. That 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 there are this doesn't go apparently because I read her story breakdown, not a full book or anything. But from what I read, it doesn't go completely far afield at all from some of the events that actually took place. It's very accurate in a lot of the events that took place, and the walking to the well was one of those things. Uh, yeah. Um, so, oh. yeah, but yeah, the, the, a couple other scenes I want to talk about, um, with her was when she had sex with what's his face for the first time. The one, the guy she fell in love with, the guy she fell in love with. Yeah. And the wanting of it. Yeah. But also the PTSD, whatever you want to call it. You bet. It, like the struggle of don't touch me. Yeah. You disgusting man. Touch me, but touch, don't touch me. me. Yeah. It was it was very well done in terms of directing, writing, and the the, the actors and, and their portrayal of this struggle she's going through. Of She's been raped probably hundreds of times, it feels like. But she's like, I really love this man, and I want to share this. But no, don't fucking touch me, you right. fucking piece of trash. Right, <laughs> right. That's what she's grown up for as men to be. Yes, she's like, I don't know course. anything else of... Ooh, don't touch me, you disgusting. Of like, course. It, it was beautifully done. I agree. Uh that that entire scene. I agree. It was it was. As as was pretty much every other thing. I thought one of the more well filmed that could have been extremely difficult and gratuitous was the gang rape. Ugh. Ugh. By just showing the door constantly opening and closing. Um Ugh. I, I I it it's very difficult because you have to those things happen. Yeah. And they're important things to not forget. Yet at the same time, you have to be careful when you're filming because you can cross that line mm -hmm. of almost, not just almost, of being gratuitous and what and 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 vulgar, yeah, and um, a provocateur. Mm -hmm. And I I did not think at any point it was that. And this just keeps hitting you over and over and over again. But I believe her life was that, as was the lives of many women and still are in particular places that are low caste and mm. it reminded me interestingly this may not seem like a connection point but here's the connection point Indrani had never seen Kill Bill Volume 2 oh. so we watched it last night nice. and there's the scene where Uma Thurman's going to go up to Paime and David Carradine says you know don't be a sassy don't talk he, he doesn't like Americans he doesn't like Caucasians and he doesn't like women. <laughs> She's all of those things. <laughs> and same thing. You know, the very beginning, this quote at the beginning of the film, which is a quote apparently from Manusmitra, a book of Hindu religious scriptures, it's quoting a saying, animals, drums, illiterates, low castes, and women are worthy of being beaten. Mm -hmm. That's the start of the film to let you know what you're getting in for. That for me is obviously the biggest takeaway from this. It's not just her story. Yeah. But it's a story of a reality that permeates not just then, but has always permeated and still permeates, which is the disgusting, horrific, evil treatment of people based on race, caste, religion, gender, skin color, all of the above. Yeah. This is just a, a brutal telling about yeah. that. And then obviously the fact that the whole thing of her father selling her into a child marriage yeah. and then also like all this stuff happens like she's like... He wanted to bed me, like she said that, and then her mom says, "Do you have no shame?" Like, what? <laughs> what? That uh, it's just it's kind of it's it's absolutely it just kept hitting you. It's like so such a tragic tragic story. Mm. Um, but Vikram, I thought also did very very well. I liked his character. A I lot. did too. Um, as well, I think everybody in this film did very very well. I did too. For so many people to be in this, I think it was one of Manoj's first things he ever did. It, well, yeah, I, he was baby Manoj. Yeah. When he first came on, I went, I, that's you. I know that's you. Uh, 
and I. And he obviously did. He it. too. If we had seen this, I would have asked him a question or two. Maybe we'll get the chance to talk to the Dosti again. Yeah, yeah. But I, I very much would like to know uh, how he and as a particularly her, not just how they felt about uh, the actual woman's feelings about it and if they were justified. But in particular, I would love to know what the process was like for Seema to portray a character that has gone through such brutality and what she did in actual research versus things she just left to her own imagination, irrespective of what her process was. I believed every moment she was on screen, she yeah. was this woman and was going through what she was going through. Yeah. Believed every minute of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you felt for her when she like went back to the village and she saw this child marriage about to happen. Uh, oh, yeah. She was always looking for those people. And then basically, it happened a few times in the film where her aggression and trauma just came out on these men. Um, can can you blame her? No, absolutely not. Yeah. And, you know, he was like, oh, yeah, kill those people, please. Yep. Like, they're all just watching people get raped, watching people get, get child marriaged. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> they're not good people. And the mockery of the public trial, which is still goes on today, where... You know, the woman is the one who was attacked, but then when she's brought up in front of all of the elders, they're asking her the question and all the other guys are saying, yeah, she was itching for it. She wanted it. Look at the way she was dressed and all that other bullshit mm -hmm. that's said in, in yeah. defense of disgusting rapists. Yeah. Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it, it lived up to the difficult watch for sure. Because um, it's... Even though, like, I enjoyed watching, like, this is great artistry happening in front of me which is which is wonderful to watch but then also the subject matter is incredibly difficult to watch yeah Nobody likes to watch rape no for two hours and i i i remember uh, i've mentioned this before um whenever there's a true story uh, or a story that's depicting true things that's hard to watch it, i remember when i was watching prisoners with hugh jackman and um um paul dano mm-hmm it was just rough, man. There's the, there's the point where he's having to look through the photos to try to recognize, and they're photos of, of all of these different children's clothes from different children that have been inducted and raped and killed. Mm -hmm. I wanted to leave the theater. It was so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And the thought went through my mind, stay put. He didn't have the option to walk away from this. Mm -hmm. People who go through these things they didn't have the option to turn it off and walk away. And I think it's important in understanding empathy and being in the human condition to see stories like this and not turn your eye away from it. Because the minute we forget, we're very prone to allowing or condoning or doing the very same things. That, that for me is the biggest takeaway from this is that if you can set aside, which I have to, because it's so good and it's so important, I can't give it the full stamp of approval because I really want to know what it was. She, I mean, the quote I read was she said it misrepresents her life and her legacy. Mm. But how much? T to what degree? Yeah. At the very least... Some people also just don't like their dirty laundry. That's, that's another option. And at the very least, I feel... I don't think someone, someone with a conscience would watch this and just walk away from it. I think someone who would watch this would want to know more. Mm -hmm. Which is the point of great storytelling yeah. of this caliber, don't you think? Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, were you happy to see Rajesh uh, when he showed up? Oh, man, I was so happy. <laughs> I just, he's such a unique person. It's a unique look. Really. Unique look. You and he's always such a solid actor. His presence is all. So the minute I see, he just endeared himself to me in Lagan forever. So I'm always excited when he pops up. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was wonderful. Um, As was Manoj. Manoj oh, was yeah. very, for a young actor, you can see the oh, understated, yeah, yeah, the understated depth of his capacity to just be in the moment and be real. Um, was, very, his character was very silent. Um, yeah. Didn't say a lot. In didn't, his, didn't have to. Um, but he obviously, he conveyed a, a lot as well. My, my probably gripes with the film is probably, I, even though I'm glad it was a little under two hours, it also could have used a little more as well. A little more in depth of certain. I, I would have. like it, it bounced through years yeah. pretty fast. Yeah. And even though I'm appreciative because you don't want to live in this story for a long time, this style of story. So oh, I get it's it. Hard. It's hard. I get it. It's hard. But then also sometimes I'm like, mm, I would have liked to have known a little more about that time. Well, and also sometimes like it would bounce and I'm like, oh, we're, we're at a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and in addition to that, 
I would love to see someone tell the story anew, afresh, because, well, because this movie came out in 94. She lived until 2001. Mm. So the remaining years of her life and her death, you absolutely should tell this from birth to death. This is an important life. I think they should have... uh... A twenty four should try to like get the story, get in Hindi actors or people that actually speak the language of in India, right? Um, but yeah. produce it here so you don't have to deal with the censor board. That's, I agree. That's what I think. I agree. I mean, like sometimes you just have to <laughs> to tell the story correctly. No, to tell it correctly today. That's why it's astonishing. What happened back then that allowed this movie to see the light of day? Yeah, it's insane. I mean, genuinely, I'm I'm astonished because even by today's standards, this would go on to OTT and people would still be losing their minds yeah. over the content being unacceptable in their opinion. And yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know how it got made in 1994. It's still kind of crazy to think in my mind. It was like, okay, wait, 1994 India. Yeah, 1994 India, and so they made it 1993 probably. Or I don't know how long the film took to actually make. It probably yeah. took a while to be in the desert. Yeah. But also, they, I bet they had a micro budget. Um, I'm sure they did. And it's why I'm, I'm sure they had to film things quickly because of that. That's why there's there's quite a few continuity yeah. things, especially with blood. But that is yeah. so forgivable. Yeah. You just you can feel the intention behind this as being a film that's focused on telling a story. Whether or not it's going to do well in the box office is not on the agenda here as it shouldn't be with what I coin as elevative artistry. And this is, this is absolutely one of the more elevative films. And her performance for me is one of the most standout. She was, she was as uh, the first role that comes to mind that for me was where a woman just held the film and was abused, but had such dignity. And I was believing every single moment was Briani. Oh yeah, that character. I mean, she'll definitely be remembered at the Dummies uh, this year for a hundred percent. It's hard to not remember. Yeah, that, hard hard to not remember that, that role performance um, and the film as well. The film is absolutely r- incredible. Um, it's a, a it's I've heard about it for a long time and I've wanted to get to it for a long time. Yeah, um, and I'm glad we finally got to it. Um, but yeah, the uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something. <laughs> It must have excited her when she read the script and knew she was going to be able to... Seema? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it had to. And, and, and the, 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 you know, the ultimate takeaway is not just about what this woman's life represents. And I think one of the things it didn't really depict was how she was heralded as really being a Robin Hood. Yeah. And how much she robbed the rich to give to the poor. Yeah. I, I would have liked to know, like, you, you heard it... And you like said, oh, she's she's beloved and she's like, yeah. But you didn't see that. I right. mean, you saw you saw her like care for like women and children, especially. But you didn't see the, um, like the the people adore her, right? Uh, outside of the end, obviously. right? Which is which is a a really good thing. And did you ever watch the first couple of seasons of uh, what is it, Pedro Pascal's series? I'm forgetting the name, Mandalorian. <laughs> no, the uh, one about Narcos? Uh, y- yes, yeah. with uh, um, Pablo. Last of Us. His, <laughs> no, uh, the the big yeah. mafia guy yeah, yeah, yeah. who was was and still is beloved yeah. by the people there because of what he did for the city and the communities and all of the money that he got through cocaine and prostitution. <laughs> he took care of people. Yep. I would have loved to have seen that side of her more than just the vengeance side, which was completely justifiable yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. sure part of her life. But the other thing that this talks about that we just kind of gl- didn't gloss over but didn't really get in depth to is the reality of the then and now of mm. the poisonous evil that is treating human beings differently based on anything relating to appearance, social status, Religious belief, yeah, skin color, gender, uh, it, it it is heartbreaking to know we live in a world with people who still have that level of not just low intelligence, but evil capacity yeah. to treat people differently because of those foundations of bigotry and lies. Yeah, it's it's painful. 
I wonder how this film did when it came out in terms of, obviously, I'm sure it wasn't a, a wide release. I read the numbers, but I don't know what they mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't, like, an amazing. It came out, I think, a year before DDLJ came out. Yeah. But So, like, the styles of DDLJ, it was very of the time it's, in terms of, oh like, the, the style. And I'm taking nothing away from DDLJ. Obviously, that's an entertainer, and that's that's wonderful in, in what it does. But the fact that this, this elevative, insanely, like, raw film was made a year before... I, it it genuinely is flabbergasting. There's nothing like this that I know of in Indian cinema within decades of either side of this film. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing quite like it. Yeah. Um, there's a film called, I don't know if it's that similar, I think it was also sent to the Oscars and I think it got accepted was, um, we haven't seen it yet, uh, Bombay. Salam Bombay. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that's is that a heavy. I think it's a one, heavy two? film. I could be wrong. I think Irfan has a small role in that one. Um, and I have no idea. I read the list of films nominated that year. I don't recall yeah. any of them, so um, I, don't, I don't know what what this went up against. But this is parallel cinema, I do believe. Yes, and so maybe in that realm, which we haven't explored that much, uh, there are some films uh, that are more like this. If there are, please obviously let us know what they are. Obviously, we. Um, we love them. Uh, this style, uh, this uh, like art, elevative artistry kind of films, um, like this one, and any other information about this one, please let us know. If like if if she gave any more information of why she had such a problem with this film, right? Uh, please let us know because we would love to know. Uh, yeah, because it's telling a true story, and whenever a film is doing that, they should be uh, honor, you know, honoring of the truth. It's important yeah. because many people. In fact, a majority of people will have their only exposure to this woman's life through this film, and that's going to be their takeaway. Yeah. And they will just accept it as gospel truth because many people just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm glad we finally got to Me it. Me too. Uh, please let us know what you thought about this film and what should be the next uh, film of hers. Yes. Or in uh, the parallel cinema universe, uh, please let us know what the next film should be down below. 